everybody, welcome to the Mac Live Show. I'm Flo, and on today's show, we're gonna pit the Magic Cube against the Logitech Solar Powered Keyboard. Cue the music. So the Magic Cube is actually three peripherals rolled into one. It's a handwriting recognition device, a mouse, and a keyboard. And we're gonna see today how it fares against a full-size desktop keyboard. Now we're gonna use a free typing application to see how fast I can type with it. And then I'm gonna compare that with the results against the Logitech keyboard. So let's find out how this works. And today we're going to have to use a white piece of paper because the Magic Cube doesn't work very well on a steel surface. So keep that in mind if you have a very bachelor pad of an office and you plan on using this. So let's try this thing. So now as you can see here, we have our trusty Logitech solar powered keyboard, which was just updated to include the command key for Mac users. So Mac users, if you've been coveting this keyboard for some time, I think now's the time to get it. Let's see how it works against the Magic Cube. My hypothesis is that it will be a lot better than the Magic Cube and a much nicer typing experience. So as predicted, I typed a lot better on the Logitech solar powered keyboard than I did on the Magic Cube, and that's probably because I'm so used to the physical feel of the keys underneath my fingers. Now, if you're used to typing on a multi-touch surface such as the iPad, you might find that the Magic Cube will be a good in-between for you and your laptop to get that sort of feel and to have the portability of a three-in-one product. But if you really need the physical feel of the keys underneath you, I'd suggest just going with a smaller little Bluetooth keyboard. So the Magic Keyboard is actually three peripherals in one. It's got a laser keyboard, does touchpad things, and also it saves children from burning bridges. <laughs> 